Hey, welcome back guys. We're live. Saturday Night Live. Is it Saturday? I forget what day it is. Yeah. Oh, no, it's Sunday. Oh my god, I missed Saturday's show. But it's still Saturday when you think about it because it's after midnight. Anyway, um, still Saturday night. Um, yeah, so we're going to do the live Q&A and answer some of your questions and give you some updates on what we have going on. Uh, without any further ado, let's get started. But before we get started, as you know, Afix taught us <laughs> sometimes you can be live but it's just a solo show where it's just me talking to myself and none of the audio is working. But we're going to make sure the audio is up and running by going live. Let's see, I'm just going to click here. Looks like we're live. Yes, we are live. Nice. So I'm just going to put this here so that everything will go according to plan but as you know things never go according to plan whenever you are live things um just gotta wing it move this over move that there for the q a in case somebody comes in all right so you guys have questions and we have answers what we're gonna do is get rid of this screen right here there we go and then we're gonna slide uh, this over and bring that out a little bit actually you know what I think we can yeah that works pretty good hopefully uh, I'm not sure if you guys see that gotta wait for it to appear there any minute ah nice all right so we're live all right so live Q&A let's see some of your questions that you have here uh, F -P probability FPB uploaded DJI Avada oh, it's a feed okay uh, AK ATKL commented Hey Lou, I'm so close to getting my Pablo 20 flying. Um, but I ran into an issue where I don't get any throttle. The drone arms and will spin and tilt, move basically every direction except for up and down. Hmm, interesting. Uh, that's happened to me before. It could be... One moment, please. Uh, YouTube string health is good. It could be doing a like restart. Sometimes I remember in the beginning after crashing, the the, the drone, the Pabo Pico, um, would have trouble finding itself, and then I'd have to reboot it. Um, hopefully, uh, what video are they referring to? Pabo Pico. Hopefully, you flashed the correct firmware to your your drone, and you didn't, um, you know, you did, you're not. Uh, running let's say Pavo 20 and then flashed it to Pavo Pico version 1 or Pavo Pico version 2 and then flashed it Pavo, you know like vice versa um, but um, it's, it's, it looks like it's a minor glitch but I sent you the link to the, <laughs> to the um, uh, troubleshooting video and hopefully that works for you um, but let us know how it goes so we, we love that feedback when um, some of us say hey yay that worked for me and then others are still having trouble and then, you know, sometimes it could be something else. Uh, but hopefully it's either a reboot or maybe the troubleshooting video will guide you through the process. Okay. Um, so on that note, um, fanless, or oh, fanless, love commented. Thank you so much for this video. I had no idea how to. You're welcome. Yes. And again, anything I have trouble with, I just um, use my imagination and be like, I can't be the only one. Um, and so I make a video, you know, on that, hoping that it will help someone, uh, too, not just me. And um, that's why we have, oh, there we go. That's why we have different videos on different topics on the how-to. Because as you can see, some people have trouble just taking off the door. And you're thinking like, wait, it's just a door. Not just any door. It's the door to the Osmos Action 4. And it's not as straight forward as you think. Um, so again, you know, there'll be many different how-to videos and some of you will be boggled. Some of you will be like, thanks. So um, just know that, you know, we try to help everyone. All right. So I'm glad that helped you. And, and, and that until this day, it still brings me a nightmare because I, if you don't do it right, you can get stuck. But, oh yeah, interesting. So if you don't get stuck, see now, if you push it down, now I can't bring it back up. I'm like, how do I bring it up again? I think you have to 
push push the button down. It's tricky. They don't make it straightforward. But we'll find out if it's waterproof this weekend. I'm going to go to the beach. All right. So on that note, and the door should be closed. Um, I think it has some water protection. We'll find out how watertight that is. All right. Uh, next one. Sandy, Kenny, can someone explain when I'm in picture mode, my Mavic 3 Classic has no ability to zoom in? Yeah, I know. It only seems to work perfect in video mode and not picture mode. Or is it me and something? No, it's not you. Unfortunately, it's not. Uh, or is it me and something I'm doing wrong? Thank you for any... any helps yeah it's not you it's not me it's you that's how the mavic 3 is um you can't zoom like i would love to zoom in night mode that would just be awesome i would love to zoom in any mode and apparently you're limited you know like you would it's you think that it's like straightforward like oh, i'll just zoom in no it doesn't work that way the seven times zoom the, the 24 zoom whatever it's called only works when you're in certain modes and it's a little bit of a bummer because um, my camera, you know, can zoom in and out in any mode. So, yeah, sorry about that. That one I'll have to type in so that they know um, it's a little bit of a bummer. It sucks, actually. You would think that, um, you know, you spend out all that money on the drone. And then I think the you have to get the pro version to be able to zoom the way you want to. Afix commented, Wally. Yes, Wally. Isn't that cool? Oh, Wally's upstairs. Where is Wally? Wally. We three... We 3D printed Wally. Uh, looks awesome. Gave it to my kid. Now all I got left of Wally are a nice set of eyes. But I'm going to print him again. I'm going to print one for myself. Um, but we'll see. You know, Maybe I don't have to print another one because she tends to uh, love it and then leave it. And then she you know, gets bored with it. Um, and then she'll find something else. Hmm. Next one. Everything that glitches. That's my video. Gur go print to 3D combinate. I think you need to point in the center of the print area and use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Yeah, but there is no scroll wheel, unfortunately. Yeah, so uh, I wish they were, but um, this is one of the issues with um, the um, the uh, uh, laser engraver. Um, when you have your 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 image there and you drop it in and as soon as you touch I maybe possibly the scroll wheel but I don't have a scroll wheel and I do have a mouse and my mouse does not have a scroll wheel so it's a little bit of a bummer um, yeah so probably I mean in a perfect world you you would probably use the scroll wheel but no it's a, it's a glitch unfortunately yeah, but maybe for you it might work because maybe if you have a scroll wheel, it just overrides everything and you just have a seamless experience. And only those with like me that don't have a scroll wheel are probably experiencing that that problem. Um, I'll have to type that in for them later. Um, okay. Yes, I did it. Worked for me. Thanks. You're welcome. MWS. Glad it. Glad this is a short one I could write. Um, but, um, hmm, that's weird. Four days ago. Yes, I have the first part downloaded. It's not all the second. I don't know what you mean. Yeah. So, so if it's not working, it's not working. And as you can see, the guy above just said thanks. It worked for me. So you know what worked for me might not work for you. It's a little bit of a bummer. Um, so. Um, you know what? I will do this. Glad you were able to use this solution, right? Maybe you can help um, uh, W I N. Whoops, W. I N E S A I. Actually, you know what? Let's just copy it. Yeah, because as you can see, the solution is universal to some extent. 
where it will work for me but not work for you it'll work for you but it won't work for them you know and why I don't know but you know we try to help everyone and um, sounds like see yes I have the first part which downloads and not the second I don't know if you know what I mean uh, hi I did exactly the same thing see he did exactly the same thing and no luck it sucks you know like I wish I had their machine here with me um, I don't even know what the calibration section is they took stuff out it just doesn't work the way it's supposed to um, and then, as you can see it worked for some and not for others and why I don't know it could be the computer here we go next one replied no es gracias en hom homocito what kind I'm not sure what that means homocito uh, let's be honest here this is the only reason the homeowner oh it was a comment from uh, that is my video um, ta Tanya Harvey Campy commented what is the point of not being able to fly left or right um, you know I'm not sure I think straight out of the box DJI doesn't want you to fly left or right. I think they just want you to get used to flying that way because people crash their drones. Um, that was the only thing. And it, <laughs> it kind of sucks because when I went back to the store, um, I was like, hey, the drone's not flying left or right. And apparently the guy who bought into the franchise was there, the owner of the store. And there were like three other guys there who worked for the guy. And no one knew how to unlock the drone to so that you could fly left and right and I was like you've got to be shitting me and then I went home um and figured it out and then I went back to the store thinking like hey guys look I figured it out and maybe now you know you'll know and they were just like oblivious they were looking at me like I had two heads and it was just the most ridiculous thing in my experience and then of course knowing me I made a video. I was like, wow, this could help other people. And it did, and it does. And it's just what, what mind blew me was that the fact that at the store, the store when I bought the freaking drone, they couldn't fix it. They didn't know how. They didn't know why the drone wasn't flying left or right. Now they do, um, because I went in there. Um, but it's in the settings, and it's a little disappointing. Anyway, so yes, I am glad that helped you. Um, but I'm not sure why they do it. Oh, probably because they don't want you crashing into anyone and they want you to become comfortable um let's just reply that um probably don't want new drone pilot Probably don't want new drone pilots crashing into bystanders in the beginning. Not sure, but <laughs> they did didn't even know how to fix this at the store when I showed this to them. Yeah, I showed it to them. I took my drone, I took it out of the box, and I was like, you know, brought it back, and they couldn't figure it out. I said, you know what, I'll take it home and see if I can do it. And I did. It's just a bummer that you would think that, um, you know, part of sales, know your product. Know your product. Okay, so that takes care of that. I have a few others I'll have to reply. Kono Kosong commented two questions. One, which file should I put into... Um, the SD card, the zip, or the extracted from the zip. Another video put the file into the aircraft. Hmm. Is it different results or the same? No, no, no. For the FCC hack, the file goes into the goggles. Um, but it's the, I think it's the ham, dot ham config. Hold on. Dot ham. config 
Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. That would be kind of cool if I uh, changed the uh, FCC hack folder. Wing search. Let's see. We have here. La la la. Hmm. Interesting. I think I have to go back into the video. I'll go here because I, I want to get the download. Um, and it should be here. Actually, you know what? Let's just change something. Dot ham. I typed in dot ham. Config. And then type in dot ham config because some people might misspell it and then now I go here to this folder and then go there new file da -da. and then mm -hmm, unlock my drone now oh wow there's an app that lets you unlock it oh this is for the potato one but there should be a download oh here it is the files right there and there's the file now we're just gonna where are my downloads go here go there and then we're gonna hmm interesting uh, my live no interesting the uh welcome back to everything that glitches I was like wait there's something wrong with my screen I hate when this happens Okay, so now I need to go Asus desktop. I'm going to choose that desktop. And then I'm going to go out again. And then voila. And click OK. There we are. That is so weird. Release, you got me, which is great. Okay, so there's the ham config. And then we'll go here. Copy the name of that. And then go back into the video there we are uh, we only lost 14 minutes right of what's happening on the screen so now we're just gonna close that out go back to the question and then go here scroll back mm, now we're just gonna go here hey that's me I never thought I'd see myself on YouTube okay so now we're just gonna go um, to their question and answer it. So now we gotta scroll down and let's see. Ah, there we go. Now we go here and here, and now we can reply. Um, ACT, you actually. Oops, A C T C T actually you have to put the um onto the S D card of the goggles. Hope this helps. And then I'll copy that and then I'll just say let us know how it goes okay hopefully it goes well but what we're gonna do is we're going to take that and we're gonna go to the video edit video because maybe I forgot to put it in right and we'll put it at the top so people know um, You have to put the, uh, we'll just put that there. We'll put brackets so that they know uh, onto the SD card of the goggles. Hope this helps. And then we'll just save it. But actually, you know what else we can do? We can go here. No, it's not made for kids. And then we'll go here. Add some more. Oh, it is there. Let's see what else. Ah, you know what we'll do? We'll put dot ham. 
dot ham whoops ham space config and then we'll put um and then dot ham config and then we'll scroll up and then put a comma and then what we'll actually do is we'll take the this one copy that and then see if it lets us nope it won't but I know it'll let us do this if we do that then you just go into the um, URL area edit your stuff and then paste it in now save it and now that should be good perfect all right, so now we'll go to and the next question. All right, whoops. Um, we'll go back. And then now we'll go here, scroll down again. And the next question is, thank you for your questions. I'm glad I'm able to answer some of them. The other ones I'll get back to you. Um, let's see, speed is same like ec mode yeah i mean not I mean, for me it's fast i like the avada um but you know, for others it, it's it's slow and other folks just love fpv you know, so we're things that go bump in the night um next one how to buy loot tips everything that glitches i printed one from pla and my frame survive only 10 seconds to first contact with the ground. How is yours PLA frame? Is enough durable? Um, for me, it works out fine. Uh, it's possible that when you printed your drone, that you printed it in um, standard mode. Oh, but he had said, I think he said the ground. The grass, I'm not crashing into the ground. If I think if I crashed into the house, it might break. Um, but it's all in your settings too. For me, um, I find that standard settings with the 3D printer um, don't work so well. Dynamic is really strong and does it's hard to break it. Uh, but it's possible that you know it's something in your settings. And I used Cure as the slicer, so I'm not sure. Um, hopefully, and I, I think I replied back to them. No, I didn't. Oh, well, interesting. And that was three days ago. Okay. Oh, that's me. Yeah, I did reply back to them. Oh, no, that's him. He, he tagged me. Um, yeah, so... Um, oh, yeah, I did reply back. Could be settings. Use Cura as your slicer and use dynamic default print settings. Mine crashes all the time, still crashing, but this, um, these print pretty good. They do actually, so it's all, it could be the settings or it could be your PLA. Um, if you, I noticed that I left my, it was freezing and I left my, um, my printer over there on. I didn't turn, it had the heat on and the, I came back and the filament was broken from the um, uh, from the uh, extruder. It just basically was cut in half. And then I went to go touch it, and it was so brittle that it just broke. So I could imagine, like, if your filament is left in the wrong temperature, and then you start printing something, it might print it, but it doesn't. It it, it it's it was like glass, it just just shattered apart. So it's possible that you know if you don't have the optimal conditions for your uh, filament, you can damage it, uh, which is a bummer. No, no one tells you that. Um, so yeah, that was from my experience with my filament. Someone liked my reply. Um, Nico RC commented, thanks to your video, I managed to recover my flight controller in a few minutes. Oh, nice. That is so cool. Congratulations. I'm glad it helped you. So again, we help people. Let's see, we have we're on a high water table so we get flooding and the sump pump is going off and thankfully thankfully no water's coming in today um because it rained like we got flood alert warnings 
and it's just a matter of time when spring comes that you know we flood we're on high 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 water table and um it's a disaster but you don't need to know that um wines i accommodated salute fija comment cement sorry let's go to google translate and see what they say because we try to answer all questions no matter what language it's in um the only problem is did you mean oh yeah kind of cool how do we translate it uh, there was a time when google um when you would type something into google and it would automatically translate your text for you detect dialect hi oh nice and there we go french salute okay wines accommodate hi i did the exact same thing as you i have the same windows and everything as i have dji assist for fpv drone that's what i wanted then i tried to download the latest version okay hmm now this is tricky because did Google Translate really translate everything the way they're supposed to? And or did they just somehow guess? And that's the only downside. Then I tried to download the latest. Okay. So let's see. Maybe um we will go here, delete that, and go from English. We'll type in French. Right to English, and then we'll type in no English to French. <laughs> English there. Thanks for sharing. Hope, hope this was able to help you. Did you? Because we don't know, it's like it, it was an ambiguous translation where we're in like a fortune cookie where it could be anything. So, merci pour le patron. We'll go there, we'll, we'll copy it. Oh, the copy is right there. And so, hopefully, they were just sharing their experience or, um, or not, right? Maybe, um, could be something else, but we won't know. So, we're gonna go. Oh, it translated it. Isn't that weird? Huh, interesting. Wait, one minute. You're like, yeah, look. And then when I click on it, <laughs> wow. Alright, so, hmm, that's really interesting. Click reply. Okay. What a waste of time. Don't waste my time, Google <laughs> or YouTube. YouTube needs to fix that so that the preview is actually in English too. That's really, that's kind of cool though. Um, I wonder how many, oh, Wojciech commented, what filament do you use? Is it nylon? Where is Wojciech? I added a second ago. Uh, yes, I replied back to him. I gave him a link from Amazon. I use gray, I use the rainbow, I use yellow. And Wally was printed in many different colors. I can't wait to print him again. Be careful with putting too much stuff on the left side in the top part it will put pressure on props and might damage them yes that's true you have to be careful how you pack your um pack your your drone your pub not pavo the avada inside the case and there's a special way to pack it here it is actually speaking of the avada so yeah you have to pack it like this and then just carefully close it. and make sure you don't pack this too much. So like they were like he was saying, see it's empty in here. So that when I apply pressure, the um it closes. Because otherwise good call on that. Um Bulipompa. Sorry if I butchered your name. But yes, they are correct. And we love when people share solutions and ideas because this channel would not be possible without you. It's a collaboration of solutions by me, a collaboration by solutions by you, you know, and then I I share with everyone. I don't take the credit for everything, especially I can't wait to start building um, another drone. 
we have uh, Afix who can chime in, and FPV Unknown. Um, so I'm gonna, when the weather gets a little nicer, um, we'll be building a new drone. I saw the Avada, um, all these rumors, and I'm not crazy about it. It kind of reminds me of this Beta FPV drone that I'm not crazy about. So, oh, hello, my friend. Hello, Crow. Nice to see you, Crow. Thanks for joining us on the show. We're doing live Q and A. Uh, for our for our, our subscribers and viewers, um, not non-subscribers that just chime in and have questions on on any of the videos related to the how-to in uh, our channel. Okay, next one. Saint Martin classes commented. This is the funniest video. Love it. And we even learned too. Way to go. Yes, we learn as we go, and that's funny because they're laughing about. Uh, the uh, um, the uh, what's it called? The Tello drone. And if any, any of you guys seen that video, whether it's FPV, regular drone, I'm always crashing them. Um, and uh, the Tello drone, I was programming it, and of course I crashed it because the Tello drone is kind of tricky though, because um, even if you program it correctly, um, it's not pilot error. You press the start button and scratch, and then somehow your code will do what it's supposed to and somehow your code won't do what it's supposed to so it's hit or miss and I, you know I, I didn't i didn't cut out any of the parts where the drone was like crashing into the ceiling uh based on what was programmed what it was programmed to do but it didn't um and hello crow hello there um next one someone liked your comment oh no just finished with the bag check tommy tommy tam commented i was thinking about purchase one but I don't know how to program it until I saw your video footage and I enjoy it. I will pick one up and fly. By the way, what do I need to complete? By the way, what do I need to complete the accessory I need like battery charger? Oh yeah, that's just a little bit tricky. Um, hmm. It's a little expensive. I would say maybe wait. But I'll give him the info. I'll follow, that one I'll have to type in. Crow, you don't remember me anymore. I'm oh Ricardo, yes, Crow, short for Ricardo. I haven't logged. Yeah, Ricardo hasn't logged in for a while. Ricardo, uh, Ricardo, those of you who might not know, came here all the way. He came all the way from Long Island to New Jersey. He traveled for three hours by train to um to have his drone fixed and we worked on it we went to starbucks we went flying um and uh it was it was cool it was a fun day and then he managed to figure out what was wrong with it and thanks to him we have one a video on you know uh it's part of the troubleshooting video where what uh, you need to do to troubleshoot your Pablo Pico to get it up and running. And that would not have been possible without Ricardo, who figured out how to fix it. But he still came and we flew. Right, Ricardo? Remember? Yeah, it's been a while. Um, let me um, see if we have that video. Let's go to YouTube. And then go... I know it's there. Um, go to your channel and go to videos and somewhere in here we have ricardo flying unless it was live it could have been a live session ah what is level maybe here no ricardo still has that video because he put it up i still oh that's right ricardo still needs to fix his antenna and the plan was for us to meet and get together so that we could fix this antenna. And I had I had experimented on one of the live videos to see if it could be done. And it can. And yes, Ricardo, we will get your antenna fixed. Um, next week will not be possible, but will be the week after. Um, unless you're gonna be, um, unless you're gonna be abroad. Let me see. Hmm. Ah, maybe this is it. Oh yeah, this is it. DJI goggles guess no that's my with my friend Jose um, anyway it's there it's somewhere I have to look for the footage uh, but I was just was me flying with a friend you could put the goggles in guest mode um, but I have to find that it's a 
really cool video where Ricardo came all the way. But yes, let's schedule that, Ricardo. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't want to waste time with that, but that was a great scene. That was really cool because it was beautiful that day. We got the greens, we got the trees, uh, which is really cool. But yes, we will plan that um, the week after next. And I will, um, I have the soldering iron. This is an amazing soldering iron um, that works really well that we will use to fix your um, your antenna. And if you remember the live session, we did it. Um, except, don't worry about it. We got you covered. We could always pull it, pull an antenna from one of the other drones too. All right, or use the original one. Hopefully, we can get it out too. All right, so that takes care of that. Now we got some Ricardo. That's so cool. And then we have Apex. Uh, Apex is not going to fly here from California because <laughs> he already knows how to fly. And he, he, I think he's the one that got us into 3D printing um, and, uh, F, you know, like FPV stuff and FPV unknown too. So I don't think they're going to come uh, and, uh, and take a plane um, to join us. All right. But it's nice that they're still here in the channel. Let me want to try something though. See if I can hear that. You know, like FPV stuff and FPV unknown too. Hmm. So that's that. Oh, that's a really cool picture. But I want to see something. Action camera. Oh, computer audio. No wonder. Interesting. I wonder why the audio does I see it here on the monitor, but I don't see it there. Let's go here. Hold on a second. Let's try another video. Ah, oh, no wonder. Okay. Hold on one second. Yeah, that's so weird. I'm not sure why it does that. Um, but like if I wanted to 
share an experience with the video. It doesn't. Um, but now I just gotta wait for this to finish. Hmm. Bummer. Yeah, that's so weird. I'm not sure why it does that. Anyway, so Ricardo was saying that my work took me a little away from the hobby. Yeah, same here. Um, the work and the weather, actually, uh, it's like if it's raining, if it's too cold, um, you know, the, um, like kiteboarding, the winter time is the best time to practice flying uh, or, you know, because then once the summertime comes, it's like, you know what you're doing and you're not crashing, but hopefully, um, you know, you're able to fly again, but come, we'll schedule next week, uh, a time, uh, to meet and fix your antenna with no problem. Um, all right, so we're going to go back here. I'm going to close that and then we're going to open up a new one. Ah, we crashed it. It's okay. No big deal. Nice to know Ricardo's still around. Let's see. I'll go back to our channel and go back to the questions. All right. So here we go. You're right. I didn't know Crow. I was like, who's Crow? And then he's like, it's me, Ricardo. It's like, oh my God. I thought he had a different screen name though. I can't remember. I think it was something else before. Um, maybe he, like me, he changed the name. Like I changed the name to the channel. Um, thank you for informing, sir. It's worked for me. Glad it worked for you because as you can see, not everyone has the same experience. Um, let's see what we have here. Here and how too bad we can't help this guy, this fella. Someone liked your reply, my pleasure. Glad it was able to. Oh, someone got a thumbs up. Um, Nico RC commented, thanks to your video. I managed to recover. Right, great, I'm glad they did. Here we had the French. Um, Wojciech commented, we told them what filament we use. That's where we left off. The Avada. Yeah, so I'm not crazy about the new Avada. Like, literally, I'm glad I went into like other things like the 3d stuff and because they, you, I don't know, um, this, this might be considered a classic, this model, if, if everything, all the rumors are true about the, um, the new Avada that's about to come out. The only thing it's good it has going for it is the goggles, I believe, where you can see through. Um, but I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. Um, but we'll see when it comes out, you know, time will tell, but I'm not sold on it. So it's kind of like I wasn't sold on the Gip RC Cinelog 35 that's still in the box. No one's bought it yet, but um, DJI, you can't trade it in. can't trade in on DJI products. So we'll see what happens. Someone will buy it. I guarantee it. You'll know one day when that's gone. And it's still in the plastic. And I feel, that's how I feel about the new Avada. It's not something I, I'm sold on. Not just not sold on it. Um... But we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll see all the videos and see what they say. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Tommy Tam commented. Oh, so we have to tell them what to get. I don't know. That's going to that's gonna be a lengthy email, but I will tell them what to get. Um, and I might tell them just to wait. Wait for the new... Um, wait for the new Avada to come out or the O3 air units. But we don't know when they're coming out. Because um, everything will be OcuSync 4 and... Um, who knows? I'm going to say buy this, buy that. And then next month, the new Avada comes out with the goggles. Um, that's a tricky... Ah, they can do what I did. I bought a used Avada for, um, I think it was $300. Um, the one that I used for... Uh, I found it online uh, for the, uh, the access motors. So if someone was selling it... I think it was a company that was selling. It was like open box. A box was damaged, and the inside contents were fine. And I got a Avada for really cheap. I would say, start looking for Avadas. People selling it. People selling their Avada goggles, and people selling their um, their uh, DJI remote controller too. Because I was going to sell mine because I didn't know how to fly. So you have some people who buy it new, and then they sell it. Um, so I'd say oh, I'll have to reply back to them and give them an, an idea because you don't have to pay full price. Fearless Flyers replied, I tried to fly with Osmo Action 4. Wow. 153 grams, Pablo 20 fly. 
flies about five minutes. Um, wow, that's pretty. That's wait, Pablo twenty five. Wow, that's pretty good. That's some serious. That's some nice flying. I I can't. I wish I could fly my Pablo twenty five with uh, my camera on there. That's no problem. I would give it a ten of ten. Yeah, I. It's my dream to fly my drone with a camera on it. But can you imagine me flying my drone with my camera on it? The outmost action. I'd be putting in care refresh. But it can be done. Look, it's, people are doing it. One day. One day I will. Someone like to reply. If you know how to fly. Yeah, that's what I, oh, that's what I was telling you. If you know how to fly, just go. Yeah, I have to write them back because that's, um, that's impressive. It's my dream to fly. I thank company coming in. Thanks, man. Helpful guy. Glad it, we can help you. As you can see, we can help some, but we just can't help everyone because the solution works for you, but not for them. Works for them, but not for you. Why that is, I don't know. But welcome back to everything that glitches. Twitty RZ uploaded. Nib replied. Everything that glitches. And I think that's it. Dang, my move so fast. It feels like an FPV drone in all modes. My exposed settings don't look like that either. Heck, I don't even get MPH. Hmm. What drone is that? Uh, if we don't get MPH, it's possible. Again, I'll, I'll to reply to these. You have to change the settings. Uh, we'll have to reply back to David. Where is the recalibration section? Uh, Neb, can you give me something to print it perfectly like layer thickness? Yes, and I was able to reply back. This is in reference to the dummy 13. So I basically sent him the, uh, I sent him the, um, as the file that I threw up in GitHub. I put the link in, um, because it's all configured and print. We'll print according to size. Hi, have an accident. Okay. Yes. Seven days ago. Did I reply back? Oh no, I didn't reply back. Oh wow. Yes, I will reply back. So some of these I'll, will require more in depth that, yeah, email so that I can help them. But if I was there, yes, it would. Hopefully the solution I reply back to will, will work. Fearless Flyer is coming in. Thanks for your response. I took additional steps by attempting to reflash the board. I guess we did that already. Um, someone liked my reply. Someone liked my reply. Fearless Flyer is pretty frequent. Whiskers, thank you for the tip. When I get that drone, I'll try what you say. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, Bear loves Bears love gaming commented. Probably the most useful video of a real life problem and how to solve it. And I believe that's where we left off the last time. Interesting. So, unfortunately, I believe that is it for our live Q and A session. Um, can you please tell me exactly? Oh yeah, because I remember. They wanted to know the exact way and there are the comments i will get to them i will reply back um via because that they require more in depth and more let's see what ricardo says can you please tell me the page where i can buy yes secondhand things i would say craigslist where did i buy my avada i bought my secondhand avada from i think it was ebay i bought it from ebay i got lucky because there's no way you can get an Avada for 300 bucks. But I guarantee you, when the new Avada comes out, you'll be able to find a new Avada for, for 300 bucks because people are going to be selling that stuff. Or you can trade it in. Um, you can trade, apparently, DJI store, but that's another story. Um, let's see. E eBay is fair. Um, DJI AVA Avada. No. No, ah, look, 380, see? And the price is dropping because people are getting ready 
the fact that that one's still in the box. People are getting ready for the new one and it's $20 shipping. Wow, you see, so I, I got lucky and I got someone like this one. See, mine was 300 and this one's 380 Then you have someone else down below selling the same drone for $700. Same drone, 350 Same drone. So you're going to get lucky. And it's going to drop even more when Sunu Obata comes out. Look at that. They're selling the combo with the remote. I should send this link to the other guy. Um, except it doesn't have the remote controller too. Yeah, so it's kind of sad though because when these drones first come out, they're like thousands of dollars. And then... Um, and then when the new one comes out, um, you know, this is going to be like 150 or something or maybe, you know, 250. Wow, that sucks. You know, that's why I don't, I'm not crazy about buying a new, oh wow, this was almost 200. Look at the remote. I should send this one to the other guy. Um, look, the remote controller too for 160 bucks. Um, and you could probably find it for cheaper. Um, so on that note or what you do is what i like to do ricardo is i'll do here i'll copy it right and then copy it and then if you go here if you go into um there and then you t go still 162 wow that means there's going to be a new remote i get one but I, I don't even use the other one and i can't even fly with that one so if a new one comes out i don't see myself getting it because um I need to learn how to fly a shop and then you click shopping so you put it in Google and then I put shopping and then when you put shopping in um, all the different very various prices come up oh wow nah $119 holy crap use which is fine uh, they're probably selling it because like me they couldn't fly um, and you have a lot of guys like that that buy it thinking that it's going to be like a Nintendo Switch experience where you just fly up is up, down is down. <laughs> no. Nope, unfortunately not. <laughs> this one's selling theirs for 500 So yeah, so just go buy the shopping. Um, 179 that's still too high. 145 Wow. But still the cheapest one is 119 Hmm. All right, so then that's how you do that. But let's. Uh, but another one you can do is that sells secondhand stuff is Adorama. Adorama. You, you and you go to that. You go to their website, and then you type in DJI Avada. DJI Avada. Ah, oh, hate those pop-ups. Let's see. DJI Avada. There. Um, oh wow! No, the Avada alone is not. You're not gonna. Just the Avada alone. It's um. Six hundred dollars. I'm not paying six hundred dollars. So you saw you can get one for three hundred dollars. I just need to check something. Okay, cool. I just saw it was showing me computer audio, but I shouldn't see the computer audio levels peaking. I should see the Tascam Porter Capture 8 peaking, which is fine, which is here. I'll show you guys. Um, hello? Yeah, so we're still good. So this is what I saw. See, Tascam, that's this one. That's the wonderful mic for voiceovers. But then, I saw this computer audio. Hello, which is weird because that shouldn't, unless something's playing in the background. I don't know, but I, I just listened as you saw. And there's nothing paying, playing in the background, which is good. Um, then if Apex was here, he would say, "Hey, turn down the sound, do this and that." But he's not. He's probably doing something. All right, so yeah, there's no way I'm paying six hundred dollars. Um, as you can see, because you can buy a new Avada for three hundred dollars, or three hundred and fifty was the lowest. Um, yeah, so that's a bummer. And then another one is Makati or something, maybe Makari, or but just just do like I did, when you go into Google and then you just select shopping, and then that'll give you the best prices or prices, 
Another one's Craigslist, but eh, you know, you never know. Craigslist can be uh, sketchy sometimes, but um, it's hit or miss. But you just um, look for the best price. And don't I always do cash for good. So let's say if the, the, the drone is in Arizona or somewhere in the Midwest, good luck with that. I'm not doing it. It has to be in New York. It has to be in New Jersey, Connecticut. I've drone to, driven to Connecticut uh, or Pennsylvania, and it's worth the drive. Um, but other than that, that's it. So yeah, do, if it's, it's if we check within your and also the group, there's a face group group. Join the um, DJI Avada group, the Five Borough Drone Group. I think it's called. Let me see Facebook. Um, let's see Facebook. Ah, NYC 5B and Beyond Meetup Drone Group. These guys are amazing pilots. Um, they just fly everywhere. They fly all over New York City. Um, I live vicariously through them. And these guys, sometimes they fly uh, in uh, the Empire State Building, one guy did. Uh, they just fly anywhere in Manhattan. Anywhere in Manhattan, Queens, Brooklyn, Staten Island. These guys are just... You know just doing it they somehow you know they've gone rogue but look here right here look at that um that looks like jersey of some sort could be i don't know um but if you scroll through you'll see some of their they they're, they're doing a lot of promotion for the dji store in new york city um they keep posting oh this guy yeah he's probably a drone pilot i wasn't crazy but i had an experience there it's, it's okay um, that's where I went to trade in the stuff and they gave me credit but I wasn't crazy about it because they changed the rules just as I went there but as you can see they're trying to get stuff to, uh, people to come into the store I don't know what that is it must be some sort of, oh the action 3 is underwater um, but anyway if you go if you join this group you'll see people selling their stuff um, you'll see look at that Verizon Bridge beautiful pictures um, Yavada so you'll see people selling their stuff I, the New York City stores I had a good good so a good bad experience there they let me trade in my stuff so I can get new stuff um, but as you know the new there's a video of me and the new DJI mic it only cost me $75 and then I was so excited they're like yeah bring your other stuff and I took my bicycle from here in New Jersey all the way to New York City and as soon as I get to the store they're like oh well you can only do um, camera for camera and she's like I know we let you, you trade in other stuff but now the rules change somehow between the train ride and bicycle ride from New Jersey back to the store and I was like what the fuck I was like I just came here all the way from New Jersey they're like yeah you can only do camera for camera so, so before I just did goods for goods, you know, it was like, you want to trade, trade, and then we'll give you the store credit, and they gave me store credit. Now, I can only do camera for camera, mic for mic, I guess battery for battery, I don't know. Just sucked. Um, so that was that. So yeah, that's how you do it, Ricardo. Um, um, hopefully that helps you. Let's see what Ricardo said. Yeah, and that's where you buy things secondhand. But just make sure it's um, it's in New York City or you know or wherever you can take the train because you you travel for three hours, um, which was amazing, and um, hopefully um, you don't have to travel that far. But as you can see, the NYC Five Borough Drone Group, a lot of those guys are going to be selling their stuff soon. Um, and then there was another place for second hand. I can't remember. Um, but you'll find it. And if it comes to me, I still have your number because we are. Let me just make sure. 2026. Um, I think it's WhatsApp. <sighs> Ricardo. Hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah, I have Ricardo. Nice. Of course, as soon as the weather conditions improve a little. Oh, uh, yes, for sure. For sure. And let's fix your antenna. Perfecto. Ricardo, look forward to seeing you soon. The soldering iron um, needs to be warmed up. And we have some more soldering videos coming up. We, have, we still have to fix the Nintendo Switch controllers. So there's going to be another video on that. Because it was actually a better kit that I had gotten. As you know, I've had it for like six months now. And I still haven't gotten around to fixing it. But it's so many videos, so much time. Like if I can lock myself in this room, I could make... 365 videos I can make a video every day literally um, but you know I can't because I gotta go to work like Ricardo was saying the um, the uh, his you know his work you know kind of took the hobby in a different direction and you know the same for me I have to other things but yeah so many videos but so little time but then I couldn't lock myself in here because I have my kids and my family so I have you know to balance that out too anyway so on that note I believe that is it for our live uh, recording of the q and I still have to get back to you guys which I will uh, I'll, I'll give some links to the other fellow that's looking but I'm um, hold out a little bit um, because I'd hate to for you to spend like all that money and then find out there's a new one and then they're like, oh, no one's using that anymore. Not that it matters, but um, if it's only a month or two, wait. But if it's just the Pablo Pico, like, and, like, I don't see myself rushing out to get the new goggles and the drone anyway. Um, I don't know, for some reason, as you see, I'm not flying as much as I used to. But I, the FPV stuff, I love. Uh, I, I'm still going to be um, building drones. I'm still going to be finagling it. Because I... They're, I want to look back. I want to be able to look back and say, hey, remember when I couldn't fly? I want to fly like Ricardo. Ricardo can fly. He had the FPV Pavo Pico, which he was flying. And he was flying the DJI Avada in manual mode. That was, yeah. One day that'll be me. That's going to be me one day. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. All right. Anyway, I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you all next time all right that's it show's over you guys can um do what you want i have to figure out what the is wrong with my audio settings here why why the meter is going and there's no one talking could be a glitch See, action camera, which is fine. Computer audio. See, now there's no comp Oh, there we go. Hello? Where is it taking you from? And this is fine. That's normal, but I should I should see that um, when anyway, I should see that when there's an audio playing. Like Let's say if I go to a video, let's say I go to YouTube, if I go here, if I go to YouTube, you ever see those videos where they're like, hey, you can watch a movie with me and you get to watch, I think they're called reaction videos. So if I was doing, this is your sign to go all in, not sure what that is, but let's look, click on her video, all right? So. I don't hear the audio coming here because I muted it, right? But now I unmuted it. So if we were doing a reaction video, like, wow, it's a good commercial, you should hear the audio, but not from here. You should hear it from here. So now I have to figure out why I can't do a reaction video. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I can't do a reaction video. Not that I ever would. Um, that's not my thing, but it's really cool. I didn't know there was like a whole niche for that. But, let's see. What would it be? 
So I have my gains and peaks level going and happening. Ah, I think I know what it is. <clears throat> okay, so. I think I know. Let's try that. Whoops. I'm sure you heard that. Oh, there we go. HDMI. Next, we will be adding another Which is that way. Ah, oh, there we are. I think. I'm not sure. Mm, nope. There's a reason why you clicked on this video. It was meant to be. See, I don't. She's in season angry or something. Um, so yeah, I still YouTuber, have my gains happening. Hold on. Here. Maybe. And you already know what I'm about to tell you. See. This is your sign to go all in. I don't care there. what your goals are. I don't care what you want go in there. life. This is there the time is. where you put Unless all things aside and you settings. prioritize yourself getting after what you want. Uh, I think I have because an idea. Because if you think about you and your goals. Sound. Change the, the output between to and there. That goal is your daily habits. Is what you do every day. Got and it. You put your attention to. So if you let all the distractions come in, all the people oh, that are not supporting you, all the social media, all the bad shit, you're not gonna get to your goal. Stop letting that be excuse. Got it. Okay. Right. So now that we go figured that in. out, go all in. I don't care if you think that you're not ready. You're never going to feel ready. There is no better time than right now to start. There's a part of you that wants those goals so bad. But that with there? everything that you do every single no. day that is not supporting your goals, it, it kind of right. numbs that desire and you feel like maybe you don't want it as much as you think you do. If you take the time to think about it, you really do want those goals. Use that energy to fuel you, to get you motivated, to take action. This is the sign that you needed to hear because you already know what you need to know. You already know what you need to do to start building your business, to create a better social media, to get out there and go after your dream job, to find out those goals. Use that energy to fuel you, to get you motivated, to take action. This is the sign that you needed to hear because you already know what you need to know. You already know time for you to get after building your business, to create a better social media. She reminds me of the female version of Gary Vayner, Mr. Sexy, I think he's called. He like gives male grooming tips. Like this is like the way he talks. You guys gotta do this. Hey, this one. Uh, he was on a Shark Tank one time. What is his name? YouTube masculine tip. I think it was called man tips. Man tips. Oops, tips. Man. Tips. Oh, there he is. He's always like this guy. What's his name? He does like the male makeover videos. He's like, he's like, he's kind of like tries to like. Anyone who doesn't, he, he's got millions of views and millions of subscribers, but this, this spiel is very. Um, um, I wonder if I can hear him now. He has a couple of channels too. Oh, Alpha Man, that's who he's called. Like he's always like half naked. He always needs to put his shirt on. He, but he look at how many tips, and this guy has endless. Yeah, he's always like in his underwear or something. Hold on. But he has other. He has another channel where he's dressed, but I forget what it's called. Um, like business, as you can see. Eh. Like how to cut your timing your nails, how to dress, but I can see where his channel is going now. Down the tubes, basically sex sells. Um, so he's like that's why he has a lot of wieners on his. Um, it's a lot of sausage. Uh, so that once I click that, damn it! Now I'm gonna get a lot of videos like that. All right, so we don't want that. So I think we have to change the. Um, 
change it so that my regular splash this is the kind of stuff my algorithms push um, my channel to like these um, those sovereign citizen videos um, CIA spy stuff um, funny stuff extruder stuff um, uh, uh, people getting arrested for doing crazy stuff and then Congress yeah so now because I looked up that I might that might change excuse me my feed and start throwing all oh, movies you can watch movies yeah, so this is my normal YouTube feed and you'll notice that like based on your your search you'll see videos pop up on YouTube according to what you like and then some videos that just like well, I don't remember finally monetize I think I'll do a video like that next finally monetize because uh, it's not everything is cracked up to be but it's good to help other youtubers to aspire and push in that direction um, I love watching those videos too and seeing how and you can see you saw my channel in the beginning it was uh, compared to now and you just get better and better and better um, and I love seeing other people's story and maybe it's time for me to share my story so I can inspire other people because you hang in there you'll get there you know it's a it's a it's a, it's a struggle and look we're almost at 2,000 subscribers can you imagine that I remember when it was just five subscribers I remember and like I, you know like I'm always saying I'm, my my plan is to grow the channel organically you know like just but um, let's see how many we're at 1,520 that's great you know we're averaging about I like, probably, probably take about a year we're having about 100 subscribers a month and it's the YouTube algorithm. You can't. I've done similar videos. You can't really chase the algorithm. I find, and, and I don't, as you can see from my videos. I try to create solutions. I find the hobby, find what I like, and as you can see, if I have trouble with it, so some of you guys help me, or I help you, and then I just create the videos based on that. It's not like, oh, I got to do this video. Oh, I got to do that video. Um, I tried it once with the drones. Um, I was like, oh, that's going to be the next video because that's what they're doing. It doesn't work because I did the same exact video um, that someone else did thinking I'd get. But no, you just find your niche. You find your target audience and you find your market. You find your, um, like for me, it's 3D printing. I like it. I'm having trouble with it. I think like, oh, someone's going if to, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm new to it and I'm struggling with it, um, I'm going to take you guys for the journey and for the ride and help you along the way I just wish there was someone to help me along the way and just make my videos that way and you'll see that I'm in these forums asking questions and the people in the forums are helping me out and then once I get a solution um, I just make a video on it like with the 3d dummy 13 or the splicing I reached out to the cure has a forum and there and you know there's just different communities and then you just grow that way you know you'll find your or maybe you won't grow maybe 2000 will be you know um, but you're always gonna even if you don't grow that way where you'll have like thousands of audiences they're always gonna be one two maybe three or four videos that are always gonna um, be viral uh, that will have a target audience like for me it's the um, it's the uh, what do you call it um, drone links video thousands 30,000 views 50,000 views because uh, that's it's a, like a niche area but not anyone created a solution for it um, but you know it is what it is and who knows you know well compared to where we were and where we are it's just phenomenal and you know that couldn't have been done without um, you guys taking the leap of faith in me and you know and I just hope that I can continue to provide solutions and how to's for you all right so anyway yeah I think I might do a video like that okay yeah and if I have to go to bed soon uh, your channel and now we go back home I want to see the other girls video uh, I missed it bummer the one where it was like here a sequence breakdown no bummer it'll show up again 
Oh, like, hey, look, there you go. I don't know if they're listening. I dominate your niche. Yeah, there you go. Wow, that's what I was just talking about. Just dominate your niche and, you know, if you make it, they will come. Don't follow the algorithm or, like, you know, the latest trend. Um, just do what you think that people will search for. And that's what I do. You know, like, um, but that, that should be an interesting video to watch. But there was one of that woman's. Hmm. But I, you could always go to your history, right? And then see what you saw. Oh, it's right there. Cool. What do you know? I'm not, I, don't, I don't need this, this in my history because the last thing I want is to get spammed. Her, she's interesting. Go and I watch her later when I'm on the plane. Um, this one looked really cool. This is like freaking phenomenal. The 3D text. Yeah, I don't know how they did that. That's, really, that's so cool. There are actually plugins for that. I've seen that you can get. Um, they're expensive too, but it's still cool. I like that. Anyway, gotta go. Gotta get up soon. And now we figured that out, which was great. Now it, can, it has to be within the um, experience, so it's contained. Let's see if we can. This is where I left off. Yeah, cool. Uh, that's it. Nice. So now I know for next time. Yeah, my dream is to fly like that. Well, well, I'm gonna go to sleep and dream about how Ricardo can fly like that for sure. Anyway, I'll see you next time and.